channel guys uh, today we're going to be doing a little DIY project I'm going to be making a press um, to make my own Kydex uh, holsters and sheaths um, main reason being is uh, just the options out there for handgun and light combos aren't really what I'm looking for in the style I'm looking for so I'm going to try to remedy that, and uh, I've got some supplies and whatnot, and it seems like it should be pretty easy. So we're going to go through it and, uh, and uh, make the, uh, the press and all that first, and then go on and try the actual holster making. So let's see how it goes. So here I've got a two foot by two foot, three quarter inch thick board. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it in quarters, so I'll have uh, 12 by 12 pieces. So I've got my two 12 by 12 boards here, and these are going to serve as the top and the bottom of our Kydex press. Um, here I have got two pieces of one inch thick 12 by 8 inch uh, foam, and I got these off of, I think, Holster Smith. So I'm not going to cut them to exactly 12 by 8. The wood, I'm just going to leave it a little bit larger than the foam itself. And then... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this 3M uh, adhesive spray to spray the foam, spray the wood, stick it there. Then I'm going to clamp them and let them dry for a little while so that way the foam will be stuck to the top and the bottom <clears throat> parts of the press. So we'll go ahead and do that now. What I ended up doing was I actually just doubled up on this. So I cut four pieces total, just uh, brad nailed these two pieces together. And then what I ended up doing was I just cut two small pieces and ended up nailing them on the end where this is gonna be the back plate. And I did that for both the top and the bottom. The reason I put a uh, solid piece of wood on the back plate is because when I screw the hinges on, this is just plywood. So you can see the layers. I wanted something solid for the screws, the small screws to go into, so it just didn't rip it apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the hinges to the top and the bottom. Now I have secured the hinges on there, so we have a press. <clears throat> so the Kydex, would, warm Kydex would go in here over the knife of the handgun, and then this will close, and we've got these two big chunks of foam, and then you just clamp it and let the Kydex cool, in theory. So now we have got this built out it's not pretty but hopefully it'll work all right so now that we've got the rig all uh made up the what i'm trying to do here is so i love my crossbreed holster uh i like the fact that it's got the leather backing and it's got the kydex front the nice heavy metal hooks Big fan. I've had this for a very long time and it's very comfortable. The only issue is they don't have a lot of great options between um, MMP 2.0 and Weapon Light uh, configurations. So, looking around, um, the light I have on this is a Phoenix GL 19R, which is, I won't say newer, but it's uh, just not. And we are clear just so no mag no ammo um there's not a lot of good holster options for any gun with these lights and uh so i figured what the hell um i'm gonna try to make my own this is an experiment so we're gonna see we're gonna do this together we're gonna see how it goes when you're doing a kydex holster you have to tape your gun and by that i mean we're gonna put tape in front around the trigger trigger guard 
and like on the, um, the ejection port because if you mold the Kydex to it without doing that, the retention will be too much. So you want to just put a little bit of tape so it still indents a little bit, but not significantly. Uh, enough to where you can't, you know, take your gun out. So that's step number one is that we are going to tape up the gun, maybe put a little piece of metal in there, uh, but we don't have to do both sides, you just have to do one side because the, the Kydex is going to lay on this side and this will be on a flat surface uh, in the press. So we're just worrying about this side here. All right, so the gun is all taped up. Now we're gonna go ahead and score a piece of Kydex. First test, we're just going to try uh, 250 and for about two or three minutes and see how that goes. You don't want to melt it, but you want it to be pliable. So, Once you get it clamped inside of the vise, let it sit for about 15 minutes to cool and cure. I had to make some slight adjustments to it by just using a little heat and pressing. So that seems to have worked. Now I just got to cut out a piece, uh, well cut this out, shape it a little bit, and then get a piece of leather and cut the piece of leather out and go from there. So. So we got the basic shape. Nice. I'm gonna cut the kydex a little bit. And I'll take it apart and clean up all the edges at some point on the grinder. It's too late to do that now. Um, as in like time-wise, I don't want to run any power tools. I think that'll work. Just needs some adjustment, but let me get all this tape off. All right, <clears throat> so what I ended up doing was putting four holes on each side and putting these clips on them. I did four holes so you can do one lower and higher so you can cant it how you want to. Uh, again, pretty much copied the crossbreed exactly. Uh, so I got the belt clips on there, got it how I want. Uh, the retention's not amazing, but it's pretty similar to what that was. 
had to do a little finagling with heating up a couple of sides individually and pushing in a little bit, you know, like right there and whatnot. But uh, nothing really seems to drag. The front sight's got plenty of room. So let's uh, put it on and see how it works. Especially uh, even though the retention's not amazing, I know that from experience of this one, once it's in your uh, waistband and the belt's tight, this will be fine. All right, so we've got it on. Actually conceals pretty well, a little bit better than the crossbreed. I think it might ride a little bit lower, but it's right there. Feels comfortable. One, two, four. So after everything was said and done, this ended up being the final first prototype here. Um, like I was saying before, the retention outside of the waistband isn't stellar. But inside the waistband, it's, it's perfect. Uh, there's no movement. It's nice and tight. It draws well. Um... There's a few other things I'd like to do. Uh, I just need to get more Kydex. And then there's probably, I'll probably end up doing a second prototype, just changing a few little things here and there um, to make that outside of the waistband retention better. Um, but like I said, actually carrying, it's fine. So I, it's been probably two months or so since I made this and did all the rest of the video. So I've been carrying this every day for about two months. And uh, any of the videos you've seen where I've been doing timer stuff has been with this holster. Uh, so I've definitely been trying it and using it. And uh, I don't have any complaints, uh, major complaints. The only other thing I'll do on the next run is I'll probably just end up making these a little bit lower. Because it rides just a little bit under where I would like it to. I would like it to sit just a little bit higher. Uh, off my belt on my waistband so I can get a quicker and better uh, grip on it like I can do it But if it was just like a smidge higher, it'd be a little easier and That could also maybe be just lowering the kydex itself. So I'll play with that on the next version I just like I said, I need to get a little more kydex in addition to I also made a little magazine saddle which works uh, was easy to throw together and quick um, just being a fat guy Having it on my side uh, definitely pushes in a little bit, but uh, other than that, that's a, that's a me problem, not a it's problem. So just to finish the video off, these are the two first prototypes that I came out with, or not came out with, but have made for myself. And um, I just cleaned up the edges on the Kydex and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so like I said, I'll probably do another one it's at some point and uh, change a few little things on it. Maybe I'll do an update on that eventually when it happens. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something. Uh, go have some fun with Kydex. Make your own shit. It's fun. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe. And until next time, be good.